story of Paolo Coelho is as gripping as one of his plots, the best-selling author told me when we met in Paris last year. I had very difficult moments. I was in a mental institution because my parents thought that I was crazy because I want to be an artist. And I was in the military uh, dungeons when we had the Brazilian dictatorship. The Rio de Janeiro-born writer became a household name with The Alchemist in 1988. And he's since sold 100 million books, published in a record-breaking 67 languages. But Coelho sees storytelling as a pure and simple art form. There are only four stories to be told. It is a story between two people, a love story between two people, a love story between three people, a, the struggle for power, and the journey. All the stories, all the books that had been written so far, they are based in one of these four stories. The blockbuster writer is now making waves by supporting the distribution of his books for free on the internet. Keeping him one of the most widely read writers of his generation, he is our connector of the day. Well, Coelho's uh, book, The Alchemist, is an allegorical tale of one boy's quest to follow his dreams and fulfill his destiny. And it seems to have inspired hundreds of you, let me say, to write in and connect with our connector of the day. You've got some fairly deep philosophical questions. So without further delay, let's uh, link up with Paolo, who is uh, via broadband tonight, joining us uh, from uh, one of his homes in France tonight. It is so nice to see you again. Uh, we spent uh, some good times together. Let's uh, kick off. A question for me just to begin with before we move on. Since we last spoke, you've been promoting the distribution of your books on the internet. That must drive the publishers absolutely mad, doesn't it? I think that more than ever now, they, they have to get used to that. Otherwise, they have no choice. The book business is going to disappear as, as it disappeared the music business. So the fact that I'm sharing my books, they are very happy because the books are selling more. But having said that, I would uh, add that even if I had the chance to start now, for example, I would do the same. I think that the pleasure yeah. of, a real, of a writer is to be read mostly than, than just to All make right. money out of writing. Well, and that was my next question, very briefly. Aren't you depriving yourself of royalties at this point, Paolo? Well, <laughs> Becky, uh, if you offer me $3 million and three readers, or if you offer me three, uh, three, uh, three million readers yeah. and three dollars, I would choose the later. Yeah, I think right. that a writer wants to be read. All right. Many, many of our hundreds of questions uh, tonight coming in uh, concern the inspiration behind the mysterious character of the alchemist. Uh, for example, Andy Chandra found in your blog that your favorite uh, author is Cahill Gilbran and wants to know uh, whether he is the alchemist. Is he? No, no, no. I have many favorite authors. Gilbran is one of them. Mm. But I also have Henry Miller, I also have George Amado, Borges, etc. Uh, the Alchemist is basically a metaphor of my own life. I had always this dream of becoming a writer, and I only started writing when, when I was uh, 40 years old. Mm. So why did I, it take so long? So by trying to understand that, I wrote to The Alchemist. Mary Christine has got a question for you um, on multiculturalism. It's something we've spoken about before. As the United Nations Ambassador for Peace, Paolo, do you believe in the teaching of foreign languages in education? I believe that storytelling does not need the language in that sense. I believe that there is music that goes beyond language. I believe that it is painting that goes beyond language. I think that basically art it is a bridge that we can use now when everything else is collapsing, mm. economical or political bridges. Marina from Macedonia says her favorite book, <laughs> everybody told us which their favorite book was. Uh, uh, she says hers was Veronica Decided to Die. And she asks, do you feel sometimes that you give too much of your inner personality and your soul to the public when you write? I give my inner personality and my soul to my books. And there's no other way to write a book. You have mm -hmm. to be dear 100%. Having said that, I think that uh, sooner or later people are going to discover who am I. So I'm there. I'm in my books. I'm all my characters, from the prostitute Maria 
to uh, uh, to to the shepherd boy, to shepherd boy in, in the Alchemist. Ehud uh, wants to know what's been your most transitional moment, Paolo. It was the road to Santiago. It was when I, I, I walked from France to Spain in 1986. I always had this dream of becoming a writer. And all of a sudden, I, I decided to live this dream. But for that, I need this rite of passage. I need to cut mm. with everything uh, behind me and start a new life. Imona, uh, talking about the books, uh, talks and says that often your books are about faith, science and the occult. Now, do you think that people turn to faith today because they are fearful? I think that people turn to money today because they are <laughs> fearful. Uh, no, no, I think that uh, faith is something that we have. We need the same faith to believe in God mm. as to not believe in God. The amount of faith is the same. Nina, say, I don't believe in God. All right. Nina so says... You need it, this faith. Okay, okay, Paolo, Nina says it's not easy to be famous. So if life offers you the opportunity to be invisible for 10 days, what would you do? Uh, I would say that it's easy to be famous, uh, depending how you, you, li you live your life. But if life gives me, gives me the opportunity to be invisible for 10 days, well, I'm going to travel around and, and, and look people without being looked at. A couple of more questions, my love. Uh, Petra is, is a new mother in an ever-changing world. She says, what do you consider to be the most important things that she should teach her kids? I would say that she should keep in her kids the flame of rebellion alive. I think that today we are politically correct. We want to behave like, you know, good boys, good girls. And we lose this rebellion. So we cannot see the other side of the coin. I think that rebellion is quite important. Last question from me, Paolo. I'm so sorry we've got to take an advertising break and wrap this up. But there's the movie about the alchemist in production, of course. Um, do you think your fans are going to be satisfied with the interpretation of the book? You never know, but I made a movie with my fans, with my readers, that's called Experimental Witch, and I was very satisfied. It was a fantastic experience, just opened in Rome, and this is, uh, well, my quest is, is to give visibility to people who need to have visibility.